the headlines. The body of a Newport man is recovered by Marine Police. A mother is arrested for attempting to smuggle cannabis to her son who was in quarantine. And Prime Minister Alan Shastling is called out for not adhering to laws set by his own administration. All this and more coming up in tonight's broadcast. This is the Hot 7 Nightly News with Lovelace and Amy Jacobs. It is Monday, the 8th of June, 2020. Welcome to the Hot 7 TV Nightly News Edition on Flow Channel 117, KISS FM, and our Caribbean Hot FM mobile app. I'm Rochelle Gonzalez, standing in for lovely St. Amy Joseph. Thank you for joining us. The body of 41-year-old Adrian Linus Fontenelle was discovered by Marine Police divers on Sunday, with the matter being recorded as a suspected case of drowning. According to reports, Fontenelle, who is a resident of Grays Viewfort, was part of a group of eight who went fishing on Saturday aboard a boat. However, he reportedly fell into the sea near the Maria Islets, leaving nothing behind but his floating slippers. The 41-year-old was said to be an experienced swimmer who loved the ocean, with fishing as one of his favorite pastimes. The matter is being investigated by police. A middle-aged woman was taken into police custody over the weekend after she was caught trying to smuggle in a small quantity of cannabis to her son, who is currently in state quarantine. According to reports, the woman in her 50s brought a bag for her son at one of the quarantine facilities on Saturday. However, the bag was checked and the herb was found wrapped in foil. The woman was arrested and taken to the Groselay Police Station. Former Independent Senator Stevenson King is questioning the actions of Prime Minister Alan Shastney as depicted in a recent video release. Dr. King noted that the PM appears to be disregarding social distancing protocol as he interacts with community members, behavior which he believes is counterproductive in the fight against COVID-19. In recent videos gone viral, Prime Minister Alan Shastney is seen speaking with members of various communities. Upon closer inspection, it can be noted that the PM is neither wearing a mask nor remaining a recommended six-foot distance from persons as is required under social distancing and mask protocols. Former Independent Senator Dr. Stephen King is speaking out against this behavior, stating that the PM has disregarded the exact protocols that his administration is ruling to the people of St. Lucia. Dr. King questions, if it is a case that protocols can be eased to this extent, why does St. Lucia remain in a state of emergency? Right now, we're supposed to be in a state of emergency. We're supposed to be um, moving with masks and social distancing, etc. Yet still, these rules seem to apply to some and not to all. Because we saw the Prime Minister and his entourage going through communities. And I understand. You know, you without your mask, because coronavirus is apparently contained in our country, in which case there's no need for a state of emergency if it's contained. That's step one. So you cannot have it both ways. You can't have your cake and eat it. Dr. King further underscores that social distancing protocols continue to govern religious practices such as mass and funerals. He believes that the Prime Minister's actions were disrespectful to the persons who, in an effort to adhere to social distancing, have had to pay their respects via live broadcast, particularly given that non-compliance remains a chargeable offence. When you think that for funerals, when we need to pay our last respects to our loved ones, only 10 of us can, can go and we must be socially distanced. It is gross disrespect that politicians can breach that and we cannot bury our loved ones with respect. I remember Miss Lira. Miss Lira dies. And Miss Lira is such a popular person in Castries. In fact, in this country, you know how many of us would have wanted to have been in a funeral with her? But we couldn't because of the protocols which we accepted. So these double rules, these double standards, this disrespect is not acceptable. He believes that a people ought to be led by example, and the PM should give greater consideration to his social responsibilities as a public figure. Jacko Whitting, Hot 7 News. Prime Minister Alan Shastney was seen in a now viral video interacting with members of different communities, celebrating four years in office on Saturday, June 6th. 
In a commemorative video marking four years in office, Prime Minister Alan Chastney disclosed that voters will be heading to the polls very soon. Members of the public shared their views on the timing of this announcement. This past weekend, the nation's parliamentarians celebrated four years in office as they observed the anniversary of the June 6, 2016 election. This weekend also saw a lot of activity in many communities as these parliamentarians took to the streets to begin campaigning for an upcoming election as announced by Prime Minister Alan Chastney. We took to the streets of Castries today to ask you, members of the public, do you think that this is the right timing for such action? No, I don't think that's the right time for any party to be concentrating on political meetings. There's a state of emergency. If parties are supposed to com be campaigning, there's no reason to have any state of emergency. The campaign still brings people together, where we're still supposed to be having the social distancing. So to me, it is not right. That's not the right time. In the smaller islands, when St. Kitts and Nevis, they had elections. I see nothing, see nothing wrong. The people want the elections, so they could. <laughs> Nothing wrong at the time, nothing wrong. Once it managed properly, properly. Yeah. I think it's the right thing for them to do their thing. Because if you're campaigning and, you know, and you want to win, so therefore you can, you can go ahead with your campaign. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yes, the campaign is very, very hot on both sides, whether Labour or UWP. The people want new elections as soon as possible. And I'm in favour of it. I said, what do you mean? The state of emergency? Yes, but the state of emergency is the that me. But the state of emergency is not affected. So, in politics, you have to You have to have a malady politics. COVID-19. COVID-19. The malady is a pentacle that is similar to the malady. It is not going to be able to do it. It is not Yo de politics to sell, yo pa melek moun, se jes de l'ajan yo ye. Ek yo ka complain about sa, yo pa te fe, mi se zi bo se fe yon dez an. Ek yo ka de vie, se menba la yo ka fe, le yo te la, yo ka fe sa yo vle, person pa pale. Apwe sa yo pa vle ba chas nan chans. Mwen, 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 mwen pa eme sa. Mwen pa eme sa, pies kalite man ye, bay se moun nan chans, e pi, maladi sa a stil la toujou, yi pa kon men bien foute nou chok la. Yo se de politics yo ye. And that's what you had to say. For Hot 7 News, I am Jaco Widding. Back to you, Rochelle. This is the Hot 7 TV nightly news. Stay with us because when we come back, minibus drivers call for an increase of commuter capacity. Taxi drivers oppose recertification and refurbishment continues at the respiratory hospital.